Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, Elliot, you want to go on a hot date? Uh, yeah. Uh, only, my, I only have one condition. Hmm. After we have dinner and we go home and have sex, you have to let me sing into your penis like a microphone. Oh. Do we have a deal? No, no. Welcome back to Royal Gives, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I read that on a Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> Some girl wrote that on her bio. It was funny. There's always... I I'm gonna share some other funny Tinder bios that I find. No. <laughs> at some point. Did you make this? Yep, I made this level. Who right, am so, I? Uh, you're Chloe. Who? Chloe. Who? Chloe. Yeah, who? I have a bit of a s interesting story for this in the next two levels. Who's Chloe? This, uh... These few levels I actually made for a project in college. Wait, what? Yeah. So during my last year of college, me and my... Oh. <laughs> me and my teammates, we decided to try and make a video game together. Oh, right. Fuck. We, we were way too ambitious with it, though, and we were like, yes, we gotta do this, and now that, and that, and that. But none of us knew how to actually code a game. Mm -hmm. So by the time we found help, it was just too late to actually make the whole thing. Chime. Yeah, the, the game was going to be called Chime, and it was interesting. It was about this, uh, uh, the leader of our group, she is wicked talented, and she... Wicked retarded, bro. She, she designed the, the characters and the story in the world of Chime. It's, the story was about this young girl. It, it took place in, like, the 1920s, and little kids were just disappearing from her small village, and... She's they eat the poo poo and get the dysentery. And <laughs> and uh, she she pretty much just wants to. She's a wannabe detective. She wants to be a detective someday. So she takes it on herself. Fuck. Wow, you just killed Chloe. Good job. So who's Chloe? Uh, Explain to me later. Um. Shit. I just no. did. She's a wannabe detective. What? Yeah, her name's oh, Chloe. Wait. Oh, the character. Oh, the oh the actual. Oh, okay, that actual character. That's Nikki. That's what I'm fucking asking you. You're like, <laughs> it's Chloe. I'm like, who the fuck is Chloe? Okay, Nikki. She's from a uh, swap note. It was an old app on the 3DS where you could write silly notes. How the fuck and then, do you get that? And you just download it, but it's. I don't think they use it anymore. How because, do you get the emoji? Um, oh, not the emoji. <laughs> the costume. Yeah, the costume. Uh. <laughs> I think you win it by doing the 100 Mario challenge. Motherfucker. You have to find the other switch. I know where I found it. <laughs> what? You have to hit them both at the same time? Nope. Now you just gotta hit that one. Alright, now you should be good. See, this level actually is in a, an old clock factory. It, this game has a really cool premise, I think. It takes place in a factory, and all those gears that you're trying to avoid... Those are actually guards looking around the factory at night with their flashlights. If you get caught, then you have to restart the level. Because, uh, you know, she's a little kid, and they're like, Hey, you can't be out this light. Go to bed. What did um the professor say about this shit? Uh, well, we had multiple professors who saw it, and, I mean, they were very impressed with uh, what we did come up with. Like, I... I Mario Maker shit? Yeah. Well, the Mario... Ma okay, if you're talking just about this, then yeah, no. The, my professors were like, wow, this is cool. This is very well done. They actually recommended... You know what Mario Maker was? Oh, yeah. I actually brought in oh. my Wii U to class. Oh, okay. And made the levels and showed them off to my teammates and professors mm. in the room. <laughs> mm. They actually recommended that I write an essay about my experience with uh, level design and stuff. And I was like, really? I mean, I'm not an expert, but okay. <laughs> and so I did. Wow. Yeah. So I then... thought that said Peach's MILF. <laughs> Peach is missing. But yeah, no, Peach's it... MILF. But yeah, I, I was the animator on the project, and, and I helped a little bit with the cr some of the creative story stuff, but mostly I was the animator. Um, I have some... Oh, no. Was this one your cousin made? Mm-hmm. Bowser's Torturing Death Trap. 13%. Those are fucking noob level statistics, bro. Get me down to 1% and then we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no more easy fun time levels by James. Fail. I 
thought that you could touch it even like I thought I'd be able to swim in it. Oh, nope. that's right. They're adding fucking water in non-water levels to the new one. Water in non-water levels, huh? Yeah, so you can put water in your levels. Oh. Even if it's not a water level. Oh, cool. All right, yeah, that's an awesome touch. Because maybe you want to just make a a level that's mostly on land but have some water. Yeah. Okay, this is actually really I wonder funny. Wonder if you can have swimming areas. My cousin, at this level right here, you can't share sound effects that you make on your own. Oh, right. He made a... He, if you play this on my Wii U, where he made the level, when you get one of the Hammer Brothers, you hear him saying, Kaka, motherfucker! So if you come into this room and kill him all, it's just like, Kaka, 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 motherfucker! Kaka, motherfucker! I yeah. like the... In Diddy Kong Racing, wasn't it? I recorded some, like, <laughs> stupid shit. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I think I... Oh, shit, what the hell? Yeah, you can't shake the... You gotta actually press the button. Why the fuck won't he go up again? Because you, Because you already used it. You can only use it once. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Go for the star that's already in the lava. <laughs> well, I had no other choice. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dead either way. Yep, you can only, when you have the propeller suit, you can only fly up once, and then you gotta touch the ground one more time. Fuck. <laughs> Rave party of death! So yeah, uh, I'll have more to say about Chime when we get to the next level, but until then, let's just enjoy the suffering and pain. I will say, for a rage level, I think this one's actually pretty solid. Oh, my cousin's gonna be so happy that we played this on Royal Groups. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him about it. He's gonna be like, dude! He's gonna tell his friends at school and be like, dude! My cousin has a show where he plays games and he played my Super Mario Maker level on it. <laughs> Not true. He has a show and his other friend played my level on it. Wait, really? What? Are you, wait, for real? What? You said you have a show? No, no, no. I was saying what he would say. Uh, I said not true, because you said, my cousin has a show, and he played my level. Oh, oh, right, okay. Not true. Oh. <laughs> I played your level. James is easily confused. Come on, bitch! You yeah, wanna you, go? You just gotta gun it right there. God damn it. You just gotta run straight through the fire and flames. Oh, you can't get the star? No, no, once you get the star, you gotta just... Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but the shit just, like, cucks you. <laughs> I'm alone in the morning. Hey, try butt slamming the chain jump post. Yes. All right. Yeah, you got it now. Nice job. Orf. <laughs> Bitches. Actually, I don't even think I needed to get that. You could just use your propeller and take two invincibility. Yeah, one or the other. Uh, yeah. All right. Not solid, really. solid level. Yeah, not bad. Not as like, uh, like frustrating as some of those rage levels. Yeah, yeah. There's. He. I, I think he made another one that was way more frustrating. I don't know if I uploaded it though, because he eventually got. A Wii. He eventually got a Wii U. So, oh, next episode of Chime. Here we go. Butt Licker Manor. All right. Hello, sir. Would you like to lick my butt or your own butt to gain entry to Butt Licker Manor? Oh no! Oh, one of one of the chime levels got taken. Ah, that's lame. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Update on the story. There's a level before this one that I guess Nintendo took down from from online. This this was racist. So the last level, you go into this forest and you meet this creature named Billy Bones. He's this creature from. Uh, from hell, pretty Boner much. Boner world. He, he looks a little bit like Deadpool. <laughs> Isn't that the last boss, dude? Uh, what boss? I don't know, in the game. I saw some video. It was like, fire and shit. Uh, no. Billy Bones tries to help you at the end. Oh. But, uh, what happens is, uh... So, in the forest, he tells you all about... Uh... Clo Chloe's grandmother. And how... When she Fuck. was a little girl, she actually managed to... Escape the monster who's killing the children... She was, like, one of the few survivors, but nobody would believe her. Because oh, okay. she was a little girl, and, I don't know. They're like, kids are stupid, man. So, you like, you have to climb through the treetops, and Billy Bones is like, Maybe I'll help you if you come and get get your bag bat back. <laughs> He's kind of like a douchebag, kind of like Deadpool. <laughs> like Deadpool. Yeah. Demon 
weird forest dweller is kind of a douchebag like Deadpool. <laughs> what? It's it it's it makes sense if you actually see it. But anyway, it um, makes sense in my brain. So then, next part of the story, Billy Bones agrees to come with you. He uses um this magical key that Chloe has Shit. that her grandma gave her mm -hmm. to enter into the manor. It turns out that the key actually belonged to him, and he. To who? To Billy Bones. Okay. Like, he gave the key to Chloe's grandmother a long time ago, then she gave it to her before she died. Mm -hmm. And now that they met, he met Chloe, Billy Bones is like, hey, that's actually my key. I need it back. She's like, oh, okay. Mm. Douchebag. <laughs> um, he, he helps you get into the manor where the monster is, but uh, the cobweb queen ends up bringing him back to hell. Mm -hmm. And he gets in trouble, so she's now stuck in the mansion all by herself. Wait, and who's she... stuck in the mansion? Chloe. Wait, what the fuck happened? I, I missed that part. <laughs> you'll, you'll hear it when you rewatch this video. No, 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 just give me a TLDR. She goes in the manor with the key, and then what happens? Billy Bones gets taken by the Cobweb Queen. Got it. And so now she's here by herself, and it's the spooky final level. Where it's like, oh okay. god, there's a creepy guy who murders children in here. Oh. And he's like in the fire, and then... Use the key and burn him or some shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't that what happened? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. I'd rather explain that once we actually get to it. Okay. Boner we... jam tastic. Mm hmm. Oh, now this is actually the dining room you're in right now. You're jumping on chandel chandeliers What's and this? floating ghost platforms. What? Yeah, because the place is haunted. I, I can't remember what this is right here. They're like, Did you just like make this in here because it would have been way too long to create like an engine with the, the capability to make these? Um, no. I, the reason I made the levels in Mario Maker was because uh, it was because I was like, different ways you can beat this. I was the one who designed the levels for the game for the most part. Okay. It was mostly on me, and I was like, hmm, what a coincidence! Super Mario Maker just happened to come out recently. Maybe I can use that to make the levels and test them out and make sure they're fun. So that's the reason I made them in here, so that... Oh. Now because you have the fireball. I can't remember why I set it up like this, but she gets like a fire thing so she can open this door that's... Her butt? Something like that. I don't know. She, op she opens the stairway to the attic. Cletus! So now she's up in the attic, and then, uh... I really hope the viewers find this entertaining. <laughs> I'm finding it entertaining. Okay, good. Um, so now she goes through the attic, and she's seeing all these messed up things that the murderer is just has left around, like bodies of dead children, I think. Moon hats. <laughs> and uh, now that the level's over, uh, you're about to fight him, but uh, that is the key, and you stick it in his pee hole. Oh. And he light it on fire and fuse his wiener. Next time on Royal Goobs, Chloe makes it to the attic, where the murderer of multiple children is hiding. Will she defeat him and solve the mystery, or will she get totally fucked? Find out next on Ro Not literally, because she's a little kid and that's really fucked up. Next time on Royal Goobs. <laughs> yeah, next time. <laughs>